Welcome to Radflix 1982. My name is Joe. These are just opinions. I am, I am Joe, Joe Pinionated, bringing you the raddest movies from 1982. What's a rad flick? That's a movie that stood the test of time. Unlike those asshats in 1982, the critics and the prestigious awards, we have time on our side. These movies have stood the test of time, didn't get the credit they deserved. Well, we're fixing that today. We have seven categories. Well, six, really. One of them's most watched. We have six normal people voting on these movies. We're not film critics. We're just people that have watched a bunch of movies. In the year 1982, Gandhi actually took home the Best Picture Award. Best Director went to Richard Attenborough for Gandhi. Ben Kingsley, Best Actor for Gandhi. Actress, Meryl Streep, Sophie's Choice. This is the year that Ozzy Osbourne bit a head off a bat. David Letterman debuted on Late Night, 1982. His first guest was Bill Murray. Sadly, we lost jazz pianist, legend, Thelonious Monk. John Belushi passes away, 1982, in Los Angeles. 1982 brought us the first compact disc. TV sitcom giant Cheers debuted in 1982. War on Drugs started. Just say no. Thriller. Michael Jackson's Thriller comes out 1982. Debuts. Some other legends lost are Grace Kelly, Randy Rhodes, and one of the greatest baseball players of all time, Satchel Paige. So like I said, we have six people voting on each category. The first category we're dealing with is the raddest horror movie or suspense movie from 1982. A couple honorable mentions, uh, one being Creep Show. That was directed by George Romero. It's kind of like half horror half comedy another honorable mention slumber party massacre coming in the runner-up for the raddest horror slash suspense movie of 1982 is john carpenter's the thing starring kurt russell if you haven't seen the thing the original with kurt russell it's a suspense masterpiece isolation isolation being a theme of most of, a lot of john carpenter's movies and technology is another thing it's a rad movie the raddest horror slash suspense 1982 goes to steven spielberg produced poltergeist director is toby hooper craig t nelson joe beth williams the kid stuck in the television uh, this honestly reminds me of eddie murphy's stand-up <laughs> more than anything but uh yeah it's a great show it's it's actually, I'm pretty sure it's rated PG as well. So maybe it fits in on the family movie night as well. Next category for Radflix 1982 is comedy. You know, comedies don't get any attention at the big award shows anyways. They often get glossed over by critics because they have no sense of humor. I do this one for my uh, living room in high school here. Uh, pretty cool. I had the whole Woodstock 99. A few of my buddies and I taped that whole thing. There's some of my old VHS collection. And if you can spot some, there's some winners from this year in that collection as well. Some of the runners up are as follows. Tootsie, starring Dustin Hoffman. Excellent movie, actually. Really good movie. Airplane 2, Basket Case is another runner up. But really 1982 came down to two strong comedies. In the second spot, starring Nick Nolte and Eddie Murphy, 48 Hours. A cop and a convict team up to catch the bad guy. It's a buddy cop movie. Clear cut number one for 1982's raddest comedy goes to Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Directed by Amy Heckerling. Stars Jennifer Jason Lee, Sean Penn. Well, this is the early 80s coming of age comedy. Somewhere between American Graffiti and Days and Confused. This movie is certified rad. I don't know what to say. This thing has definitely stood the test of time. This is a great movie. Remember to check out the channel as well. All these videos are in a playlist in the description so i'd love to hear your votes for each category that we're going through in this episode all the trailers for all the movies mentioned in this episode are below in the playlist in the description of this video shout out to the panel of normal people for chipping in with your contributions and i plan to remake these in the future so i will be taking all the votes in the comments and message to me into account next time around only if you're normal though. Raddest action sci-fi and adventure movie from 1982. Some honorable mentions, some ones that didn't make the final three. So the max we could have for the, in the finals is uh, three for the way that we've voted on these movies. Ones that didn't make the final three are E.T. directed by Steven Spielberg, 1982. The Thing did not make the final three, even though it got a couple of high votes. 48 Hours did not make the final three. And Rocky Three did not make the final three. In third place, third raddest action adventure sci-fi movie of 1982 goes to 
Conan the Barbarian featuring Arnie. I like it. It's a solid pick. It's a rad flick. It stood the test of time. All right. Props to Conan the Barbarian. Runner up for best action movie 1982 sci-fi adventure goes to this beauty behind me. It's Sly Stallone's Rambo. First Blood. Rambo was filmed uh, in the province I'm living in, British Columbia and Hope, BC. The big downtown scene. If you're one of those people who likes to check out movie sites, I totally do. Hope, BC is where you'll find most of this movie. Number one for sci-fi adventure action movies, 1982. We're going with Blade Runner. Rutger Hoover, Harrison Ford, and directed by Ridley Scott. A classic to this day, one of the greatest science fiction movies ever made, actually. It's got to be in the top 10 list. Great vision. Ridley Scott. I mean, he's Ridley Scott. He made Alien. What else do you need? This guy was on top of his game, 1982. Raddest science fiction movie of 1982. Blade Runner. The next category is Family Movie Night. So these are movies that uh, our panel members anyway consider to be family movies. We're not saying that we're model parents or anything like that. You know, this is a show called Radflix. We're not exactly splitting the atom or anything here. But uh, some runner-ups. Annie, uh, the musical, the original, that's 1982. The Secret of Nim, 48 Hours. Got a wise guy here. 48 Hours and uh, Rocky 3. Uh, Rocky 3, I definitely agree with. 48 Hours, I don't know. I definitely watched Rocky 3 a lot when I was a kid. So Annie is actually tied for uh, runner-up. It's tied with The Dark Crystal, co-directed by Frank Oz and Jim Henson. It's a movie about a young Gelfling who embarks on a quest to heal The Dark Crystal. Anything Jim Henson, automatic red flick. Frank Oz, I mean, that's pretty close to you. (laughs) Anything these guys touch is gold. And number one, Family Movie Night for 1982 goes to Steven Spielberg's masterpiece E.T. The Extra Terrestrial starring Henry Thomas and Drew Barrymore a young boy befriends an extraterrestrial on earth and E.T. is just trying to go home technically the first movie I ever saw in the theater this is uh, certified rad now you may have noticed by now I'm not exactly the smartest guy and uh, you probably got a little bit dumber watching this so far so I'm just gonna say I am a little low on facts and high on opinions let me know where I screwed up along the way in the comments next category for rad flicks 1982 is drama best drama yeah it sounds kind of boring okay here we go so 1982 is a pretty weak year for drama I'm just gonna put that out there First and foremost, <laughs> this is the first year we've had where we've had two of our panel members not pick any of the of the movies. Runner ups, Officer and a Gentleman. Officer and a Gentleman is uh, one of the runner ups, and then we actually have a three way tie for second place. I think that's the only time this happens in the whole series. The three way tie is between Alan Parker's Pink Floyd, The Wall. Big time Pink Floyd fan, and uh, there's episodes on this channel. Joe opinionated. We've done. Uh, Pink Floyd Desert Island Deathmatch with uh, Tristan Clark from the Tristones in New York. One of the best episodes on this channel, so check that out. Pink Floyd The Wall, quite an incredible statement. As far as like rock dramas go, I I don't know. Is there anything better? Four movies tied for second place. Also tied is Rocky Three. That got a lot of votes for best drama of 1982. That's how weak 1982 was for dramas. Blade Runner got a we got a got votes tied for second and the king the king of comedy which is actually a pretty cool show that's the one with robert de niro and uh, jerry lewis uh, martin scorsese directed and the movie the joker that came out with walking phoenix is basically based on that i mean or it's pretty much the same plot so i'm not sure the exact ties and the winner for the raddest drama of 1982 goes to goes to gandhi starring ben kinsley directed by was it richard richard attenborough it's a biopic about gandhi true story it's very interesting it's the kind of movie you only watch once it's super long it's a great story it's an incredible man and that's kind of what gets it to the finish line not very action-packed though like as far as this one winning test of time test of time the most boring long drama of the year for sure it is rad flick certified by the panel i'm just telling you there wasn't a lot to work with this this year we're going to do the category for most watched so this kind of gives you a little insight into the panel and uh, i'm just going to start from the other side most watched joe 2 third place is rocky 3 then conan the barbarian his most watched movie is fast times at ridgemont high most watched for jesse number three is tootsie second is fast at fast times at ridgemont high and his most watched is rocky 3 bob number three he's got poltergeist number two 
Conan the Barbarian, and number one ET, most watched ET for Caro. Uh, number two is Fast Times at Ridgemont High, and number one is Annie for Ian. Number three is Fast Times, number two is Blade Runner, and number one is John Carpenter's The Thing. And for myself, the most watched, uh, number three is probably Rambo. First Blood. Number two is Annie. Definitely watched that a lot growing up and continue to watch it today with my kids. I think it's a quality movie. Number one for me from most watched would be Pink Floyd The Wall. Like I said, a big Pink Floyd fan. It's pretty depressing. Careful of that. The most watched. Uh, so that means that in third place, Rocky tied with Conan the Barbarian for most watched. Number two was Annie and the most watched movie by our panel for 1982, Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Raddest movie of 1982 is the next category overall. Runner up, again, we have Officer and a Gentleman, The King of Comedy, Dark Crystal. On to the final three. Number three, Raddest movie overall 1982 goes to john carpenter's the thing we have a tie for number two raddest movie of 1982 between the annie the musical and blade runner sorry ridley scott's blade runner tied for number two number one steven spielberg's et the extraterrestrial raddest movie of 1982 how this did not win best picture 1982 they just didn't know what the hell they're talking about now we we got time on our side. This is the raddest movie of 1982. It stood the test of time. So that's another episode, 1982 Rad Flicks. Remember to comment below in the description as well. There's a link to all the trailers for all of these movies. Let us know where your stack up in these categories. Give us your winners. We'll put that into future episodes. Also check out my channel. Uh, on YouTube, it's at my friend Joe. Uh, you can hashtag Joe Opinionated as well. Also, I have Patreon in the description as well. If you're into that sort of thing, then there's a Discord set up. Feel free to join that. Put your uh, comments and mentions in there as well. Be happy to talk to you. I'm sorry, I'm a little low on facts and high, and high on, opinions. on opinions. Respect to ET, the extraterrestrial, the raddest flick of 1982. See you next time.